In today's Eye on Entertainment Report, a new co-host, or rather a co-host, is a no-show. And say. we're getting the scoop on a very high-profile Hollywood divorce, and Crystal Cruz is here with all the details. Can you imagine Gavin Rossdale and Gwen Stefani, how much cash they have to split up? Oh, I imagine it's a lot. <laughs> uh, I imagine Even it's a... a little's a lot, I bet, not family, right? Right? Yeah. I'd like just a little piece of that, right? <laughs> Gavin Rossdale plays nice when it comes to Gwen Stefani and their divorce. Well, sort of. According to Entertainment Tonight, Stefani will keep all of the money she earned while the two were married. Even though under California law, Gavin was entitled to half because there was no prenup. However, she'll have to sell the Beverly Hills home that she made significant upgrades to, including an entire new wing and guest house, and the couple will split the profits. They'll sh share joint custody of their three kids, and neither will get child support or spousal support. And it's easy to look good when you're 20 years old, but what about 47? According to People Magazine, Jennifer Aniston still got it. They've just named her the most beautiful woman in the world. It's her second time earning that title. The last time was in 2004 when she was 35. The former friend star says hearing the news made her feel like an excited teenager. Her secret to still looking so good, she works out at least six days a week and watches what she eats. As for her definition of beauty, she said in part, it's a life well lived and in her confidence. Beauty has changed for me over the years. It's really learning to love every single thing about yourself. Aniston is the magazine's second oldest honoree. Sandra Bullock won the title last year at age 50. You can see the new Jennifer Aniston movie Mother's Day due out a week from Friday. People's Most Beautiful hits newsstands at the end of the week. Things seemed fine before the show. That's Michael Strahan with Anna Gasteyer, who filled in today for Kelly Ripa on Live After the co-host was a no-show. Kelly is reportedly upset because she wasn't told Strahan was leaving the show for Good Morning America. Strahan wasn't going to talk about his departure on the show, but as uh, you can see here, apparently he changed his mind at the last minute. I really want to thank, of course, Kelly Ripa, because um, Kelly, yeah. Kelly uh, welcomed me here, and I've learned so much from her, and she's just been an, an amazing influence on me, and, and this has truly changed my life to be here with her. No word yet on who will replace Michael once he moves on to GMA. And moving on, you don't need to head to Broadway to see the 2014 Tony Award winning musical, A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. It's playing at the Amundsen Theater. It's a comedy about a distant heir to a family fortune who sets out to jump to the front of the line of succession by any means necessary. John Rapson plays the entire Dysqueeth family all eight cast members. We talked with him about all the quick behind the scenes character and costume changes. He does what any discerning British gentleman would do um, and decides to murder his way to the top in really ridiculous, hilarious ways. Um, and all of the victims are played by one actor, which is what I do in the show. It's the most fun nervous breakdown you've ever had. You know, it's, em it's, em it's embracing my inner schizophrenia nightly. The performance is at the Music Center through May 1st. So he plays all eight cast members. Kind of sold on that show. Very that sounds talented. great, doesn't it? Right? Yeah, and he looks so calm, though, when he started talking about it, when he was sitting in the audience there. Or they were backstage making a big fuss over him, but he just, yeah. like, calm. Okay, take the makeup off. Yeah, yeah I want to see it. All right. Talk about split personalities you have to have for that role, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Crystal.